Welcome into another video. This time I've got 12 undrafted players right now that you could be targeting with your last pick in the draft. These guys based off of ADP aren't even getting drafted in a normal 16 round 12 team league. So let's just go ahead and get it started with the first guy I wanna talk about here. And that's gonna be Hayden Hurst. Hayden Hurst now with the Carolina Panthers coming over where he had actually a really good season with the Cincinnati Bengals. Now he's playing with a rookie quarterback in Bryce Young, and I always say on this channel, these rookie quarterbacks like to have a safety blanket, and often that safety blanket is the tight end spot. Hayden Hurst has the talent to make himself known in this offense. The only other person that you're really noteworthy in this offense, you could probably say is Miles Sanders at the running back position. Not really worried about other players like Adam Thielen. They got the rookie Jonathan Mingo, but Hayden Hurst has established himself in the NFL as a reliable target. He's throughout whatever team he's been on, he's been a good player. Somebody that's coming in ADP at 198, somebody you can definitely see yourself plugging into. Don't even worry about drafting tight ends. In most of your draft, last pick of the draft, go ahead and grab yourself Hayden Hurst. You could easily have yourself a top 10, top 15 type of tight end just with your last pick in the draft. I think that's kind of sells it for me. I mean, he's a really, really decent player on a team that's not going to be very good. So there'll be in a lot of negative game scripts. They're going to be throwing the ball quite a bit. Why not take a, a, a shot at Hayden Hurst and see what you get? Let's go over to the next guy. We're talking about John Mechie. A lot of people don't remember but he wasn't able to play um, his rookie season because of a medical condition. Well, he's now been clear from that. He's been at practice. This guy was an outstanding wide receiver at Alabama just two seasons ago. A lot of people may not remember him. He may, That's probably why his ADP is at 199, but he could end up working his way up into being the number one wide receiver for the Houston uh, Texans. I mean, you can get a number one wide receiver possibly with the last pick in the draft, well, it's going that way in ADP because maybe a lot of people just aren't remembering who John Mechie was and his talent level. He was absolutely phenomenal. Somebody you need to probably target and get him in your last pick of the draft, even second to last pick of the draft, just to make sure you can secure him. John Mechie the third, I think is gonna be a phenomenal player in the NFL. Somebody you definitely need to keep on your radar. Let's go over to the next guy. Talk about Isaiah Hodgins. Some people don't even know who this guy is, but he's a, he's a wide receiver for the New York Giants. They didn't go out and get themselves any type of top burner as far as talent level goes at the wide receiver position. They did draft uh, a wide receiver who is absolutely Jalen Hyatt fast as all get out, but he's not established yet. You got your Sterling Shepherds and your Darius Slaytons, things like that. But if you want to look at a big body wide receiver, you're looking at Isaiah Hodgins. They did get Darren Waller in at the tight end position. They still got Saquon Barkley at the running back. Daniel Jones just doesn't have anybody really consistently yet to throw the football to. He actually played really well for the Giants down the stretch last season. Somebody that you can get with your last pick going at ADP 200. Somebody you can depend on. I mean, why not? Just take a flyer on this guy, grab him. Grab him at the end of the draft, and he could be phenomenal for your team. Let's go over to the next guy. We're going to talk about Samir White. Now, as of the recording of this video, Josh Jacobs has not signed, yet alone reported back to camp, and he is long gone. So right now, they're looking to probably give the ball to Samir White. He was a rookie last season, coming in his second year. He played really, really well in college. I think he's he's a I think he could be a stud. I think he could be an absolute stud if given the opportunity. It looks like this season, at least for a couple games of the season before Josh Jacobs comes back to the team, he could be given the opportunity and he could absolutely show out. Grab Zamir White. I'm sure by, you know, with the next couple weeks, whenever the preseason is over, Zamir White's ADP is going to go way up into the boards if Josh Jacobs doesn't come back to the team. But as of right now, if you're drafting now, grab Zamir White. He could come out to being a phenomenal player for your team for fantasy football in 2023. Talking about the next guy, we're going to talk about Josh Downs. He's going to be a rookie wide receiver here for the Indianapolis Colts. You know, they have AR 15 over there as the rookie quarterback as well. He's got to build rapport with somebody. They do have Michael Pittman there as well, maybe Ashton Doolin, some people like that. But I think Josh Downs could come in here and make himself an immediate impact. I wasn't crazy about his college tape out of North Carolina, but he's somebody that can make a name for himself just based off of not other names being in the position for him. So if he comes in, shows out, you never know what he's going to do. I know Josh Downs and AR-15 was out in the parking lot, you know, when everything was all said and done before they could even get to 
the facility working working with each other so you never know you could you can catch lightning in a bottle just draft with your last pick you'll be happy that you did hopefully by mid-season he can he can establish himself as a decent fantasy receiver for your team going to the next guy somebody that i absolutely love and that's jelani woods staying with the same team with the indianapolis colts six foot seven very fast has good hands he's a freak of nature ar-15 is a freak of nature you put two freak of natures together it's going to be phenomenal mo alley cox is not going to be the starting tight end no more it is jelani woods team he's a big body guy that can go into the red zone get you a lot of touchdowns I think he can easily be a top eight type of, of tight end this season. I wouldn't bat an eye if he did. I'm grabbing Jelani Woods in almost every best ball draft that I've done so far. And I hopefully I have him on all of my uh, regular season drafts as well. I like this guy. Take a shot at him with your last pick in the draft. I think he's going to be a stud this season in 2023. So moving right along, we're going to talk about Eric Gray. Eric Gray is the rookie out of Oklahoma as a running back. He is behind Saquon Barkley. Now, Saquon Barkley... He, did, he wasn't injury prone last year, but the last few seasons, he has some injuries about him. Eric Gray is a running back that I think could come in if given the opportunity to be a good fantasy back for you. Now, I do believe Matt Breida would get the first crack at, at any kind of runnings if Saquon Barkley, God forbid, went down with an injury. But I do like the potential for Eric Gray. Why not grab this guy, especially if you're in a dynasty league or something like that? Grab this guy. He could be phenomenal for you later on down the stretch. Like I said, if given the opportunity, I like what I've seen out of this tape. That's why I had to put him on my undrafted targets in this video. So moving right along, Michael Wilson at 273 right now, ADP. He is the wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals. This dude's been showing out six foot two, big body wide receiver. They don't have anything else there. They have Marquise Brown and a bunch of blah. So I'm not, I don't care about Rondo Moore or any of these guys. Michael Wilson's been showing out in camp. They did a scrimmage not too long ago. He had two touchdowns in the scrimmage. He's a big wide receiver. He deserves some opportunities on the field. He will get opportunities on the field, whether it's Kyler Murray or Colt McCoy at the quarterback position. There's going to be opportunities there for Michael Wilson to shine. I'm telling you guys right now, he's going to be drafted pretty high. I'd say middle rounds by next season. He's going to be a stud to look out for. Grab Michael Wilson on your roster. You'll be glad that you did. And remember, Bayou Bengal told you uh, to grab Michael Wilson. Coming over at our next guy, we're going to talk about Luke Schoonmaker. Now, right now, I think Jake Ferguson is named the starting tight end. Luke is number two. But I believe before it's all said and done, Luke Schoonmaker should take over at the tight end position and be able to show out with Dak Prescott. Somebody again, I mean, he's got 279 ADP right now. Just take a flyer. If you have nobody else that you want to pick and you're just like, I just need to throw out a pick grab luke shoemaker he could he could probably be beneficial for you sometime during the season if he ends up becoming the starter again all these picks are kind of like just dart throws right so you but if you're going to throw a dart at least try to get it as close to the bullseye as you can and that's what this list is here to do for you for so we have a couple more here let's go to the next guy hey sean Butte. I think he is going to be a really good wide receiver. He was really good when I liked him see at LSU. Some things went down, ended up not playing or whatever the case was, but he was a highly touted wide receiver. He ended up wearing the old number seven at LSU and everybody who plays uh, wears number seven at LSU, they're supposed to be the studs and the cream of the crop. So. Keyshawn Butte is there. He's playing for the New England Patriots right now. Not a lot over there, man. Juju Smith-Schuster, Devontae Parker. But I think mean, he can make a name for himself if given that opportunity. And I think sooner or later, he should be able to be at least play into the slot for a few roles. There's probably going to be some people ahead of him. But again, one of those darts I like to throw. I just like to give you guys some undrafted players that I like that I would put on my team. And hey, let's see what happens. At the end of the day, you can cut him if they're not doing anything. But I think he would be a good one for your team. Going to the next guy, we're going to talk about the other running back that we just mentioned briefly for the New York Giants and Matt Burita. Again, if Saquon Barkley goes down, you're going to want the running back in this offense, whether it's Eric Gray or Matt Burita. And again, Matt Burita is probably going to get the first crack at it. Again, I like Eric Gray more, I like his talent more, I like his running style more. But Matt Burita is another guy. He's got 297. If you have nobody else, why not grab the handcuff to Saquon Barkley? So last but not least, a guy that I have phenomenal i have been hovering over this dude all off season long if you guys have been watching any of the videos and that's at perry at perry is their rookie wide receiver out of wake forest went to the new orleans saints went to the saints and i'm telling you he has been showing out in camp we're talking about one-handed grabs and things like that spectacular catches mike thomas isn't gonna last forever right and whenever he ends up moving on especially if you're in a dynasty league grab at perry somebody's gonna be slotted on the other side of chris olave 
push comes to shove, Michael Thomas might even be able to go into the slot there, put A.T. Perry on the outside, big body wide receiver. It could be a phenomenal offense. Somebody that's not even complete. He didn't even have an ADP number. He's just been completely undrafted right now. His ADP is probably going to be rising up here shortly once people start seeing what he's doing in the preseason. So, but yet just another guy that I want to put out here, but that's 12 guys for you guys that are not currently being drafted. ADPs beyond what a 16 round 12 team league is. Swoop up some of you guys. There's a bunch of tours, 12 dart throws for you guys that I put out there for you. And I'm sure some of these guys are going to land. But hey, we're pumping out videos as of right now, every Monday and Friday up into the season. And then we're going to be rocking out some videos and even some live streams every single week to help prepare you put up the best roster as possible. Leave a comment down below if there's somebody that you believe that's being undrafted right now that I missed. If you guys hit the sub button, that way you never miss any of the videos that I put out, any of the information. That way you're best prepared to ultimately win a championship i can't wait to see you guys on the next video we'll see you guys next time